Hey, what's up fam? It's Modern Day Caveman again. <clears throat> well, today is the big day. I'm going to take my driver's test, man. And uh, I just want to tell you guys how, how, how God is working in my life because I wasn't supposed to get it today. I just called the place yesterday to schedule the driving test and uh, and, and they, uh, they told us that they didn't have any, any available openings until after June 21st. So I... Uh, they said that they that that they had some other locations that we could go to, which was like in Cuyahoga Falls and Ravana and some other Minerva or something. They were like, "Hey, you know, you can call them. We got one Friday." And I was like, "I can't go Friday because I'm going to Edwin's Culinary Institute to enroll in class Friday, and so it's in Cleveland." And I was like, uh, "This is just I can't I can't do that." So they said, "Well, you have to wait until June 24th after June 21st and they didn't and, and they just was booked up until June 21st and hadn't had to schedule out for anything after that yet so they was like you just have to wait till then and I was like man alright so we hang up the phone and we're sitting there talking about it and then about two minutes later the lady calls me back she was like hey an opening just came open you want it and I said when is it she was like tomorrow 8 o'clock I was like yeah give me that so we had to hurry up and, uh, you know, I hadn't did the maneuverability part yet. So that's the hardest part of the driving test is the maneuverability part. And uh, so I had, like my mom said, that, oh, yeah, when your daughter was taking it, we had to, we tried to rent some cones to set up. And I was like, listen, I don't need no cones. I just need some objects, to, you know, just, to, just for placement. Like we can go out and place it and I just need to be able to drive through it. So my dad, he, he decided to get... He got, we got two cones that are at the end of the driveway and uh, we got a few buckets and some some uh, <laughs> some tools that he stuck in the bucket. And we set up this course, man, for me to do. He got this long tape measure and we measured it out and so we, we set up this course so I could do the drive, the, the maneuverability, man. And uh, I got a little bit of video of it, so um, it's a bunch of different clips. And the whole other thing is, dude, I have a greater appreciation for guys and, and women, for women, women and men, and, and that that uh, or look, nowadays I'm sorry, I don't mean men and women. So let me just say that for anyone, for anyone that goes to school for video editing, that is a hard thing to do. Oh my God, I just like I, I I'm I, some of my videos. I, I got a lot of video clips. And I need to put them together because the way this camera operates is you can start it and stop it. But every time you start it and stop it, it's a new video clip. And every time I download it, it gives me them as separate clips. And I don't know how to put them together as one clip because if I've, I've got a few things that I've got. i got a lot of content that I've got recorded that I want to put together in a video and I can't get it together. So I'm like, OK, uh, this is crazy. I, got, I downloaded this video editor app. It's called uh, Power Director, and I tried to use it. It, ha it has tutorials, but it's just they're moving so fast, and you're, you, 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 it's like I, it's just just too much, man. It's really complicated stuff, man. And I talked to a few people, and they was like, "Yeah, video editing is is rough, man. It's a tough thing, so it's not something you can just jump right into." So that's that. Um, I've you know since. I did that interview with Tariq, and, and uh, since my cousin just put me on Twitter, man, it's just been amazing. So last night I got uh, contacted by this, I think he's a pastor or a minister. He might be a minister, but if he, well, we're all ministers. If you believe in Christ, we're all ministers. So he, uh, he, he got a radio station, and it's called Chaos Radio, I believe is what it's called. And um, we set up an interview for me on radio on Monday at 7 o'clock. And uh, he's supposed to be sending me this link so I can get the phone number. And he says that if I give this number to any of my, my friends, that they can they can listen to the radio show. So I'm going to I'm going to listen to the radio show. I'm going to give you the number and, and uh, I'm going to do this interview at seven o'clock on Monday. And I uh, and I don't know what date that is. I don't even know what today's date is. Oh, today is the third. So that's probably like the, the, the sixth, maybe Monday's the sixth. But uh or whatever the date is but so during during the, the the prep stage of last night's interview that he you know the conversation i had with him he asked me a 
about um, my testimony and, and who I was and gave him some background on who I was and, and, and he's excited, he's much as excited about this as it wasn't. But the, one of the questions that he asked me was, so why are you doing what you're doing? Now, what's your purpose? Like, you know, what, what, why are you, why? And, you know, and I actually had, a, I was waiting for someone to ask me that question and no one has asked me that question yet and I'm glad that he asked me that question. So I want to put it on here and the, the question, the, 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 the answer to that question is two, is in two parts. The first part is the reason why I'm doing this is for him, is for God. It's because if I can just come out and just be positive and spread love and, and just, just, you know, give the message. And if I can just save one soul, man, if I can get just one soul to give his life to Christ, then I did my job. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a faithful servant. He says, well done, my good and faithful servant. So if I can just win one soul, man, I'd be happy, man. I'd be, I'd be ecstatic. As my mom says, over the moon. <laughs> so um, that's my first purpose is, is just to give glory to God, man, and just to spread the gospel because that's what we're called to do as, as Christ's disciples. And the second part, the second part is I want to leave a, doc, uh, a history of, of how to overcome the struggles and obstacles that, that guys like me come out of prison and we face. So, you know, hence the, the Western Union situation, the ID situation, you know, um, just the, you know, the overwhelmed, how I was just overwhelmed and, you know, and like how people like you, this, this, I just want to leave a, I just want to leave a record of, of, of how I navigated because I intend to be successful. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be rich and famous or nothing. I just want to be successful. You know, I just want to be a successful story where the guys would say, hey, this guy did 20 plus years in prison. He came out, he, he came out and he did what he was supposed to do. So, um, that's the, that's the answer to that question, man. So, the, the, you know, to sum it all up is I just want to give glory to God first and foremost because he is the ruler of my life. And, and, and if I can give him glory, man, then I'm, I'm, that's it. That's, that's the, 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 the icing on the cake is giving God the glory. And the second part is just to help guys that, that are coming out of prison reintegrate, man. Or maybe this will reach somebody that's thinking about doing a crime and going to prison or, or a kid or, you know, some guy that been in prison to come out. But I just want to s s just help people make better decisions and, sh and show how, you know, having a support system is very important. And, you know, being prepared, I think that when you're in prison and you're getting ready to come out, you, you, you need to have a plan. You need to plan for tomorrow. You need to plan for the next week. You need to plan for You need to plan in stages, man, and you need to execute that plan. And that's what I did. I, I had a plan. I came out and I execute that plan. You know, so I set some goals and I set what they call smart goals. And if you don't know what a smart goal is, look it up. It's, 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 a, it's, it's very important that we do smart goals. So, <clears throat> okay, my mom's telling me that we're getting ready to go. And, uh, it's raining outside, so I, not only am I going to take my driver's test in the rain, my mom says she's going to make me drive to the place so we can take the test. And we're getting ready to leave, man. And uh, I know that God's got me, so I don't, I, I'm not even going to say wish me luck because I don't need it. You know, I don't need it. What I need is for your prayers and, 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 and just say, hey, wish me Godspeed. You know, that's what I want. Wish me Godspeed. And uh, I love you guys, man. God loves you too, man. And don't forget, I hate saying this, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. All right. Love you guys. Peace. One love.